I have recovered from COVID-19 because of my mindset. I was positive that I was going to get out of um, whatever it is that I was going through because at the time I probably didn't even know what it was. I just suspected that it was COVID-19. Hi, my name is Sean Kumalo and I'm a public relations specialist. I own a small agency called The Client Media based in Johannesburg with a national footprint. I've been in isolation in Johannesburg for about uh, five weeks. And then I decided to drive down to Cape Town because I missed family and I was alone in Johannesburg. And I thought, you know, it's probably better to be closer to family because it was, it, it, it was quite lonely. I noticed that I, my body was kind of feeling out of itself around the 24th. I think it was the 24th of May. And I started isolating myself um, because obviously I'm aware there's coronavirus and, and these are the issues and this is what's happening. Day three, I had the cough and it was consistent. And that's when I started worrying that it could be more than just um, change of season, fluish fever. Um, and then I got a bit of fatigue. I was tired tired um, i wasn't quite sure what i was tired of because i wasn't doing much at this point in time i must mention that my mom had tested positive and my mom and i have been in contact um it got serious on day four and i was chatting to my client who's a doctor dr matobela machigane uh, and we we're having a conversation over the phone and then she said hold up i think you have shortness of breath and i said what do you mean um she said to me you can barely finish a sentence without stopping to catch your breath um, on day five, it kind of got intense because I sort of started feeling weak. There was like sort of a dizzy spell and I was like, no, nah, there's something wrong. I need to do something about it. And then I took myself to uh, Dr. Matuela Machigani's clinic. And then they wrote out um, a letter that, which refers me to uh, Lancet Laboratories in China um, for me to get tested. So I took myself to hospital. They immediately isolated me. Um, they put me on drip and they gave me oxygen. I got tested on that day, on, on the 31st, and I waited for results. And um, apparently the test got lost along the way or there was a backlog at the lab, but I never got any results back from that. And then when I was moved to the next hospital, I got tested there and I got results a day or two, a day later. Um, they did the nasal test. It's very uncomfortable because they shoved it really back uh, of the nose. Um, they took quite a lot of blood blood samples out of me. Um, I think they were doing, you know, extensive tests. At some point, I think on day three in hospital, I was suspected to have hyposema pneumonia. At this point in time, I must highlight that I had lost appetite. I had stopped eating and my loss of ap appetite was gradual. And there are myths that I'm picking up along the way as I chat to people that people, when they go into hospital, they don't come back or certain hospitals are not treating people um, in the right or the correct manner. What I saw personally, and I take my hat off for medical professionals is that they are trying and working tirelessly as they can. I think um, mindset wise, your anxiety jumps up. You think of uh, so many things, the deaths that have occurred, the number numbers which has increased. Uh, and I mean, I've been paying attention to what's happening, you know, in, in other countries as well. Um, and I think what left me positive is the fact that I'm young and I don't have underlying health issues. I don't have diabetes, high blood and all those things. So I was kind of positive that my system would eventually catch up and fight on its own. I'm feeling 90% recovered. I, I, I sort of, you know, sort of have control of my body now. Um, I feel a whole lot better.